Hello. I have had this Bible for several years and I keep it in pristine condition. I don't write in it. I think I did highlight a couple times and then I was like, oh gosh, I just can't do this. I can't highlight with no direction, with no purpose, with no system. But I have been playing with the idea of writing in my Bible for a long time now. I don't like the idea of highlighting my Bible because then the next time I go through reading it, it's already highlighted and it may distract me from what I'd really like to know. But then I thought recently, is God really going to keep his message from me because I'm distracted by a highlighter color? Probably not. Also, I have multiple Bibles. So if I truly don't want to read something that's highlighted, I can just use my other Bibles. But for whatever reason, I want a Bible that's kind of marked up. I want some sticky notes in here. I want it to look used and loved. I don't know why that's so appealing to me. But for the longest time, I have held off on doing that because I just can't get over the idea of marking up all over my Bible. My mother-in-law has a Bible that's just like loved. You, the binding is falling off and it's just like, I would love to have a Bible that showed, not to be boastful or proud, but for my children to see like, okay, because I do lots of things and journals and planners and who knows what they are, are watching me do, right? I kind of really want my kids to see me with my Bible, marking it up and using it and loving it. Although I do already, I think seeing me walking around with the Bible is going to be maybe a great example. I went through the internet and I read all kinds of things about different keys, different systems, different codes. And I have tried practicing them and I'm not so fond of a lot of the systems I found. So I'm going to make my own. So I encourage you probably not to copy me because I copied a lot of other people and I just kept getting confused. I think that, I mean, of course, if you think mine makes sense, then, <laughs> then please do. But I am going to try to keep a system of highlighting, which is the first step of my key. And I'm going to make a bookmark to keep in my Bible, although there is a ribbon. But the bookmark will just help me reference if I forget what my colors are until I program myself to start using the colors. The colors I chose are purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. I have so many highlighters in different variations, but I feel like even if I lost these, I can still find good old Sharpie highlighters. This could this would fall under the category of red, right? Just the color in rainbow order. And no matter what brand of highlighter I pick up, I know that I'm always gonna have purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. I say the rainbow backwards. My sister taught it to me backwards and I've said it that way ever since I was a tiny, tiny top. I've also got these highlighters purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Most highlighters give you a rainbow order. The trouble I'm having right now is bleed through. I'm going to mark up my Bible just to show you, but we're gonna go way in the back to this portion that I'm okay marking up. So let's take the green midliner and make a highlight. Let's take the green Ritec make a highlight and then let's take the Stabilo Boss and make a highlight and flip it over. It's upside down now to get you in frame but this is the Stabilo, this is the midliner and this is the right tech. Do you see highlight come through? Well, if I were reading on the other side and I found something in orange, let's do a Stabilo. You can hardly see that. It just gets very confusing with the bleed over. So my trouble is highlighting in my Bible, I have yet to find a highlighter that does not bleed through. The Sharpies absolutely bleed through. All right, and then I have it's these gel highlighter, highlighters. As you can see, I have been looking for highlighters for a long time <laughs> that don't bleed. So let's clean this mess up. All right, these are gel highlighters. Let me go back to that page that I was on. One, now let's do this one for green. Our gel highlighters, Mr. Pen gel highlighters. The thing with these, I'm trying to love them, but they're kind of weird, sort of bulky, and they feel like crayon. They feel like I could scratch off. You don't see them as much, if at all. I mean, you do, not very much, but it almost feels like I can scrape it off, which I kind of can. With this big, huge, chunky thing, let me just try to underline 
Let's go to the archaeology of the Bible and just underline something for sake of underlining. Well, I guess I wouldn't underline. I would just put one line over, which wouldn't be so bad. But it just looks like I can scrape it off, and I kind of can. Do you see my fingertip? Which is, I don't know why that bothers me. I just guess, I guess I feel like when I close it up, it's just going to smear everywhere. But if you look on the other side, you can, you can see the slight, you can see it slightly, hardly, especially, but if I were to put another color on top of this side, let's do that. And I would highlight this in pink. It's so chunky. Do you see how chunky that is? Look at that. It's It bothers me. But these are the only ones that don't really bleed through. I can hardly see that. But I don't see the pink at all on the other side. I think over time, as I mark in the Bible a lot, I may just get over it entirely. If you really look at it, you can tell what color I was trying to highlight it in. We're going to do... This is going to be the purple. Let's see how not purple that is. Uh, that's okay, purple. Actually, is kind of purplish. Purple, for the sake of my key, though, just create the key with my stabilos so that I don't waste the gel markers. I want to keep my categories down to five colors. No, six colors because of the rainbow. I don't want more colors than that because then things get tricky. Like, then I'll have to memorize you know, a teal or, you know what I mean? It's just not something that I'm willing to do. I'd like my system to stay within the confines of the rainbow. I mean, if we get technical, we have indigo violet, but we're not going there. All right. So purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Does that disturb you that I'm backwards? I see a lot of different color codes all for different reasons and I've played with them all, but trying to adopt someone else's color system, I always forget it. Have, let's see, six categories. I like the idea of what these categories, what God says to do, what God warns us about. Somebody has like what God promises, but I really, I don't think that that's necessary. <laughs> Essentially I'm promised eternal life in heaven. <laughs> I mean, I really don't need more details than that. Basically commandments, God's warnings, things not to do. Then I wanted, warning I think would be red. I mean orange. Because think about like traffic signs and lights flashing. Warnings, I'm going to put orange. Warning, warning, alert, alert. Then I'm going to put um, God's characteristics or attributes. God's character. Let's just do that as blue. For some reason, attributes and characteristics just rings blue to me. Things that God says to do, I'm going to do green because green means go. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this. Let's think out some different categories. Also, I'm going to have circled words being ones that I'm confused about and I want to look up underlining repeated words so an underline is repeat words circle is just questions about definitions or more info like I'm super confused look at this up what does this mean what does this word mean what does this entire phrase mean look this up <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do the circle for we could have a memory verse as a category, commandments, warnings, things not to do, slash sin, God's character. I almost want one for history, genealogy, those kinds of things. Green could, no, I've got green says do. Purple could be memory verse. Yellow. And as simple as it is, I know that some people use this to represent God's love, but I think just because I have moments where I read the Bible and an entire verse or a line or something sticks out to me and I'm just like, holy cow, that is good. And that's just for me being moved by something and I'm like, I want to highlight that. It's amazing. I love that. And I think I'm going to do yellow for that because yellow is like the most common highlighter color. And if nothing else, I can probably always find a yellow highlighter. And when I'm reading my Bible and highlighting things like, yes, 
amazing. I love this. Oh my gosh. So I think I will do yellow as things that wow me. I will probably phrase that differently once I get my wits about myself. But I'm a little bit sleep deprived. Baby was awake every hour, almost on the hour because of her molars last night. Things I, things that move me, right? The entire Bible moves me, but we'll just do things that move me. Do I want one for history or memory verse? I have two more categories to fill. Let me look at the Bible and read a little bit. I'm going to pop off here and jump back on look at the internet for some category ideas and see if anything sticks out to me otherwise i may hold off on pink and purple and just do um these for now of course as i try out my highlight system i might think to myself as i read the bible with my highlighters like oh i wish i had a category for that so i may leave one open <clears throat> but i do think i want one for memorizing the bible i i really do verses i'd like to memorize oopsies what did i just i made a z Mem <laughs> memory verses i do believe i will make that purple and then pink let me see if i've got some categories that i can find on the internet that i like otherwise i may just keep pink open for a while until i Feel it out some more. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And I think that I'm going to change things that move me to pink because it moves my heart, right? And then yellow, I think I'm going to highlight all the acts of having faith or when it references having faith or in a story when someone exercises great faith. It doesn't necessarily say in the passage, this person was faithful, but you can tell by what they were doing in their actions that they were faithful. This event happened, and then I'm thinking, wow, that's a great faith to do that, like Job, right? So faith, I'm going to do yellow. For some reason, faith in yellow makes sense in my mind. And I think this is what I'm going to do. Now, a lot of people, there are different people like this. Who? What? When? Where? Why? How? And they had a different color for each. I'm not knocking that. I just do not see how that would benefit me. So this is what I've decided to do. And I don't think I need more than just circles when I'm confused and underlines in the repeat words because I've got all these highlights with these categories here. So let's get to making my bookmark. And I think I've settled on, I encourage you to Pick the colors you'd like to use in your Bible. You don't even have to this detailed. If you just want to even use three colors, you can do anytime it talks about God would be in yellow. Anytime um, it talks about things that are good can be pink. Things that are bad could be orange, right? The sins, orange. Warnings, orange. Don't do this, orange. That's bad. Orange, orange, orange. Things that talk about love, how to love. Things that are good, do yellow. And then anytime it talks about God, or pink, and then anytime it talks about God, do yellow. You could, you don't have to have that many colors. You could even just highlight things you like. You could use one, you could use all these colors, whatever highlighter you happen to pick up, and just highlight your Bible. And if I'm using blue that day, then I'm gonna highlight everything I like in blue, and there's no rhyme or reason. I'm, and then the next day, I can't find my blue, so I'm just gonna pick up my green, and I'm gonna highlight everything I like in green. There really is no reason you have to have a system, but. I um, have gotten to the point where I have read the Bible a few times and I, I, I have, they use the highlight whatever color I like system in the app, in the Version Bible app. You can have loads of different colors, but I never had a, a reason why I picked the color. <laughs> I just picked it to, to do it. And it didn't be benefit me much other than just to emphasize that I really liked that verse. And then when I go back through and I read the Bible app, I see all these colors. I'm just like, I've come to the point I've come to the season where I think that I could use something more specific. Size. I'm going to keep a title here that says Bible Study Key. So then I will do purple just below it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God's number. Cool. 
one, two. Then down here, I will just use by the study key. No, I could just write key because I obviously know this is for Bible study. So I'm just going to write key. Okay. Key. Circle. Underline. And I will leave a space here just in case I find like brackets or... I don't know, some other symbol that I'm going to need in the future. Purple, because I like purple, and purple means I'd like to memorize this. I love purple, I love these verses enough to memorize them. So let me use that as a Bible memorization color. And then we had blue as God's character. Attributes. I think I'm going to make that say attributes. Things about God. Let's see, how do I make that? Yeah, let's just do God's attributes. <sighs> attributes. Uh, how do I want to word this? Things we ought to do. Slash be like. Things we ought not to do. No. Gosh, why is it so hard? I'm just gonna go ahead and write the word faith in the yellow while I think about that. I don't know that I want things that move me because things that move me, I'm probably going to make that a memory verse. I think that I'm just gonna leave this pink for when I'm doing this, this a while, I may come up with something that I need a category for. So I am going to leave it blank for now. And if you continue watching the videos, you'll see eventually what I turn this into, but I don't know yet what that is. So let's circle, look up, define, and underline. Let's do underline, just so I know this isn't like a strike through or something. Repeat words, ideas. Looking up the repetitive words in um, a chapter, are, it's very telling. I will just put uh, sin. Did I put comma here? Yeah, sin warnings. In cursive. <laughs> I'm really contemplating whether or not I should write that in cursive or print. Evil. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm not going to be able to fit it. Evil character. <laughs> Evil character attributes. Evil character attributes. whatever that's gonna have to do God's attributes and we'll just do this as commandments oh, I curled my ass commandments how to live think how the Bible tells you to be that's that's how I want to mm, I'm just gonna write that out. I can't I can't think about this any longer. How Gosh. I'm not happy with the way that I wrote this and it's more because I'm trying to make it clear for you guys, but I understand what this means, so I'm just gonna leave it there and call this good. This is my key. And I cannot find a pen that does not bleed through. So I am going to underline actually in pencil when I study the Bible. 
So let's just give this a, a, a dry run. Let's just give this a go. We give thanks to God always for all of you, constantly mentioning you in our prayers. Steadfastness of hope. That is a way to be, right? I like that. In our Lord Jesus Christ, fully know, brothers, loved by God, that he has chosen me. He's completed. I think that I will put that in blue because this is an attribute of God. This is a fact about God. God's attributes and facts about God. Maybe that's what I'll do. Does that make sense? Some uh, things God has done. He has chosen you. Oh, see what I mean? Golly. I'm not so sure about these highlighters. Because our gospel came to you not only in word. Have boldness for God. We don't want to seek glory from people. Um... A long time, for a long time, I did not want to talk about God <clears throat> on my channel because probably because I believed a lie where I felt like if people, people would glorify me and my knowledge, even though I'm not knowledgeable at all, in my opinion, I don't want, I didn't want anybody to hold me up and praise me for literally anything. I wanted all the glory to go to God and that was a huge hesitation and a reason why I have not still made videos about Bible study because I just don't want any attention on me and I'm also afraid of I guess I'm not afraid of leading people wrong anymore because I am prayerfully seeking guidance from the Holy Spirit and if I'm hesitant to say something I don't say it so it's not that I'm afraid of steering people wrong but I just I sort of don't like I want to be used as a vessel for God, but I don't want people to inevitably sometimes put appreciation on me for spreading the word. I want them to completely give that to God, but I can't control how people will perceive me or treat me or respond to me. And so that's a very sticky situation I'm in currently. Anyway, whether from you or from others, though we could have made demands as apostles of Christ. Boop. Look at this excess I'm scraping off among you like a nursing. The word is being um, repeated here, so let's go back here and look. Not only in word, but also in power in the Holy Spirit with conviction. I don't know why I, I never thought to use pencil, but it's a newfound realization that I could definitely use pencil in my Bible, and it doesn't bleed through. I've tried pen before, but pencil is just like, I don't know why, why I always think pencil is going to wash away. Because it, cause it can erase, you know? But uh, truly, it's not going anywhere if it's in these pages. Let's see. For you received the word. The joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all believers. And for not only has the word of God, the Lord. Wow, I'm going to explore this more. The word, the word, the word. The word faith in God has gone forth everywhere. As I'm editing this, I'm realizing, like, could I use colored pencils to highlight? Why don't I just use colored pencils? All right, so we have the word repeating in chapter one. That can be an extensive study all in itself. Uh, Bible study takes a long time if you really dive deep into, like, verse mapping and stuff. And I will show you a video about that if you'd like me to show you. This almost has a lot of like declare, share, spread the news, right? So we've got declare the gospel. We speak. We were ready to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also proclaimed to you the gospel. Now we're talking about spreading the gospel here. That's, that's a way of saying, you know, they've been trying to share and speak, share and speak. They were hindered from speaking, but there's still an attempt to speak there, right? 
lots of uh, sharing and spreading the word of the gospel in, in chapter 2. Wow, this is getting so good, and this video is going to be super long if I don't stop now, but i got to go check on the kids. I just wanted to show you my key and give you a little taste of Bible study. If you'd like to see me study my Bible some more, let me know, and I will definitely do that. I plan on making a video for, I think her name is Coffeeholic. Coffeeholic Mama? Coffeeholic Mom? I can't remember. About how I pre-read. And that's going to be, I think, um, a video I will put out soon. So stand by to stand by on that one. I'm going to prepare his day for school tonight. I usually do it in the night and I've got a whole bunch of stuff on my wall. And I'll show you how I pre-read and prepare for the school day. But for now, I'm just going to end this video and encourage you to come up with your own system, test your own highlighters, uh, and please, if you have any good ideas or if you'd like to help me with what I ought to put in this pink column, let me know. I'd love some ideas. I need some help fine-tuning. I'm just kind of testing this out and, you know, I could change again in the near future until I figure out how I'd like to do this, okay? Thank you for watching and uh, have fun studying your Bible. It is such a good time, all right? And try to do it in front of your kids. Everybody says, wake up early and read your Bible before the kids come out so you're not disturbed. Okay, do that, sure. But really, do it in front of your kids. I get interrupted all the time. Sometimes I, I don't really even get to do much, but they see me reading it, and that's what's important. So I'd rather have that than them not knowing I'm reading the Bible at all because I do it before they even wake up. All right, I'll see you in the next one.